Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for your first Coach Basics call. I'm so sorry I messed up the times. Normally, that hasn't happened in four years, but everything happened once and it happened today. So without any further ado, we're going to get this call um, started. So thanks for everyone for joining tonight. If you are on, you, you kind of hung in there for the 20 minutes that I was late. Um, and, and thanks for obviously showing up in Coach Basics and showing up for yourself because really this is about you. It's not about me or any of the other coaches, top, you know, top leaders on our team. Um, it's about you and you getting what you need out of this for yourself to reach your goals and to reach whatever, you know, dreams that you guys have. So I think most of you on this call right now do know my story. I'll kind of give a little abbreviation of it. Um, because I, I think it's always good to kind of see what the potential is for this because this opportunity can give anyone the potential. Um, it doesn't matter what age you are, what sex you are, what, um, what, what your background is, where you grew up you know, who your parents were, what edu what background or education that you have. This business, it doesn't matter any of those things. What matters is really the belief in yourself. And if you're willing to take the opportunity and run with it and be willing to learn, right? Like this is something that's brand new and it's going to be brand new for every other new coach that comes on. So it, it's really no different for any of us. We all come in to this business absolutely clueless, not knowing what to do. Um, so it's up to you to kind of take what we're giving you and learn it and put those um, steps into action. So I started with Beachbody almost four years ago, it'll be four years on Valentine's Day of 2013, which sounds like absolutely crazy to me. At the time, I was a high school athletic trainer, so I was pretty much doing um, rehab and injury prevention for high school athletes. So I was there pretty much six days a week, um, you know, eight, nine, ten hours. Who, who even knows when I would actually get out um, because of practices, late night games, tournaments, football games. I was pretty much there all the time and we have we would have this running joke that you know oh rose why don't you bring a bed and just sleep here like you're gonna be back you know so early tomorrow morning and stay there so late i'm like haha like so funny um and with doing that as my career you know within i would say three four years i was completely burnt out by the age of 27 and I thought to myself, how am I going to make it to the age of like 60, 65 to where I, I, I could retire? And that thought alone made me completely depressed. Um, and being an athletic trainer and being depressed didn't really go hand in hand um, because being depressed, I ate whatever I wanted to. I didn't really care about myself and my body. Um, it was kind of just like a free for all. And then it started, I started noticing like, all right, like I'm telling these athletes to be healthy and eat right and, you know, treat their bodies right so that they can perform at their best levels during the games. And here I am just completely like not even, not even caring. Um, and I think we all kind of have that aha moment. And for me, I was at like a Super Bowl party, you know, I was eating everything and boy, did I feel it like in my gut, like I just felt like this heavy weight. Um, and there I was just completely embarrassed about who I was, who I became. And at that moment I realized, all right, like I need to do something about this muffin top that's going on. Um, it just made me completely uncomfortable. And it was like that big light bulb that I needed to like kick myself in the butt. So I remember my brother telling me about this program called Insanity. Um, if you've ever seen the infomercial on TV, it scares the daylights out of you. Um, but I figured I could do it at home. I lived in like a little condo at the time on the second floor. I was like, you know what? I don't even care if my neighbor gets mad at me. Like, I need to do something. So I got Insanity off of Amazon, which is like a big beach body no-no because you don't get a coach. I didn't get a challenge group. I kind of was like going into this whole thing blind, right? Because I wanted to save five bucks and not I, not buy it off um, the Beachbody website, but I didn't know any better, right? So I did the program. It was 60 days, and I lost 30 pounds, and I was completely floored that you could actually get in the best shape with a workout DVD from home, and I mean, my whole, you know, like growing up, I played soccer. Um, in college, I was around athletes all the time, and, you know, I had the mentality, and I was taught, you know, you have to go to the gym and do this and do that and spend an hour here and there. I'm like, do people realize like how simple this is? Like 
this was like a big secret. And I was like, this is like so like crazy that people don't know about this. So that's when I was like, all right, let me do some research on this whole beach body thing. I went online. Um, I saw there was a website. I signed up for a free account. If you guys don't know this yet, if you are Emerald and hit success club, you get free customers you might get someone like me. Um, so that's what happened with my coach. She got me as a customer. She reached out to me a couple times. I, I ignored her for probably about five messages and I wanted to hear what she had to say. So if you um, have talked to people so far and people have told you no, I highly suggest do not give up on them. Um, follow up with people. A no is not a no forever. It's just no right now. No right, not right now. Um, so for my upline coach, she she followed up with me. She was consistent, and eventually I was like, all right, like I obviously want to talk to this chick. Let me just reach back out to her, and I did. She told me about the coaching opportunity. I thought she was completely crazy out of her mind. She was a stranger to me. Um, I thought she was trying to get me into this pyramid scheme. That you know, I didn't even know what a pyramid scheme was. I actually had a Google pyramid scheme. Um, but I knew like P90X insanity. If that stuff was like trying um, to rip everyone off, it wouldn't be on TV for as long as it has been. So that's when I realized, you know what, this speech body thing is legit. Like obviously it really worked for me. Let me give it a go. Um, and that was four years ago. I was able to quit my full-time job um, last October. So it's been a almost it's been over a full year since I've been able to do Beachbody full-time. And I don't say, you know, to boast about myself that I was able to leave my full-time job, but I, I say it so you guys know that there is potential here. There is that opportunity. Did I think that I would actually be able to leave my full-time job when I first started? Hell no. Like, I didn't have the confidence. Um, I didn't know how I was even going to talk to people. Like, I was completely shy. I never posted on Facebook a day in my life before I became a coach. Um, never took a selfie. Um, so it, I just share that because I know how shy I was and from where I was to where I am now is light years away. Um, it came from personal development and it, it came from my mission and my passion for not just helping people with their health and fitness, but a passion for showing people that there's something else out there. If you've ever had that gut feeling like I'm not supposed to be doing what I'm doing or there's something that that's missing in my life, I can't really place it. Or you have, you know, self -lim limiting beliefs that, you know, you're kind of just having to like go through the motions of life and, and live that status quo just because, you know, doing anything else would be weird and other people might say something about you. Um, so that's my passion is to show people that there is other opportunities out there. You don't have to kind of pitter patter through life. You can make life whatever you want it to be. So that's what I wanted to kind of talk about to you guys. Um, you know, we are here to help you not do it for you. So what I mean by that is, yes, we're posting videos for you to watch, to listen, but if you guys don't take that and actually put those things into action, you know, the first two days people are all gung ho and you'll see I've run this group for three years and I don't know, maybe this is like the 30th time I've done this call. Um, the people who actually do the action steps are the ones that have success. If you just keep learning and you just keep watching, but don't any, actually put any action to it it just kind of becomes all boggled in your mind and then you forget things and then you don't like understand and then what happens is like you start to get overwhelmed because oh my gosh I didn't I missed three days and now I have all this stuff to do and it just becomes a little overwhelming well I'll just say just start clean right just take one day at a time um, don't get overwhelmed but I'll let you know everyone does get overwhelmed just because this is all new. Um, but definitely use the group, use the team, use your upline coach as support to reach out to. Um, you don't have to know everything. That's why you guys have us. But you need to definitely um, do the action steps that we're telling you to do or else it's kind of like us speaking on dead air. Um, what else? So a lot of people ask, especially new coaches, is how do I even get started? And I would say just by talking to people, posting, you have to take that first step. No matter which way you look at it, it's going to be scary. It's going to be difficult. It's going to feel like tension pulling, like, do I really have to post this? Um, but after you do that once, twice, three times, 
it, it becomes second nature to you. But I will let you know, once you become vulnerable and you share your story with people, and that's really what people, um, that's what people connect with, right? So I can post all day long about, you know, Shakeology has 70 superfoods, yay me, I'm having the healthiest breakfast of the day. People don't care about that. What they care about is, oh my gosh, like I'm so, um, energetic and I'm not crashing at four o'clock like I usually do and I can stay awake you know through my kids basketball game like you want to be sharing why Shakeology works for you and not just Shakeology like we're not the products right we have a great tool we have Shakeology we have the workouts that's the tools that we help people with but what people are looking for is someone to connect with and you're going to do that by sharing your story on how and why these products work for you and what they've done for you. And if you don't have, you know, if you just started, like you're like on day one with your workout, just share that. Share the little things. Even if it's, you know, day one through day two and you're, and you're just sharing like, oh my gosh, I'm so sore. That's relatable. People can't relate to someone perfect, right? Like, Autumn, yes, she's great, she's wonderful, but it's hard for people to relate to that, right? And that's why coaches, that's why we are so um, helpful to people and why people can look to us for that support and motivation because they can see themselves in us. It's kind of hard for them to see themselves in Autumn, if that makes any sense. Um, did you guys have any questions that you wanted answered from me? And I see Shannon is on the line too. Shannon, are you able to talk? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, yes. I'm driving down the highway coming back from a ski day with the family. <laughs> Thanks for hopping on. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> um, are you able to share your story? Yeah, I can share my story a little bit. I, like you, was also a free customer. Um, I had reached my wit's end after having kids and gaining, you know, the most weight that I had ever gained in my life and also had some health issues pop up and was approaching the big four zeros. So, um, I decided that it was time to do something about it. And, um, so that's when I ordered, um, from the infomercial, I got one of the workout programs. I got assigned a coach. Um, and the little commercials at the end where it talks about you need a coach. And um, I knew that I needed something to hold myself accountable to my health and fitness goals. And I've always started things, but, you know, I would always quit them. And so I thought this would be a chance for me to at least stay accountable. And that was really my only goal. And um, so... I reached out to the coach that I had been assigned, and she helped me get set up as a coach myself. And then um, I started reaching out to people and just kind of sharing my story and um, got a lot of people interested and ran my first challenge group. And I absolutely fell in love with helping people um, feel better about themselves, um, realize that it's not about just losing weight, but it's actually about a physical and mental transformation because seeing what it was doing for people being a part of a group and being a part of something bigger than themselves and saw how it changed them and me being able to be a part of their story was very fulfilling so i absolutely fell in love with it and um you know and just seeing the opportunity for things that you can do to help people to grow to help yourself financially and have that extra income um, i have three boys and one's going to be 16 in a year and a half and so, you know, we're going to have insurance paid for, cars to pay for, and then the others are going to be following behind. So the extra money definitely um, is a plus, and it gets my products paid for, and um, it's keeping me healthy, and that's something that is priceless. So that's why I'm here, and I love what I do, and got to meet a lot of a lot of people and relationships that I would have never had had it not been for Beachbody. Um, it's just a great avenue to you know, develop those relationships. And I love using that platform to share my faith with people because I think of it as a mind, body, and spirit thing. Um, and trying to help people not only, you know, get healthy on the inside physically, but also, you know, speak to them spiritually and mentally. So I just love using that platform to share with people and really being an important influence in their lives. Thanks, Shannon, for, for being in the car and sharing that with us. That's so, right. 
<laughs> so Shannon, um, she's helping me um, co-lead with the group. Um, and the reason why we share our stories is because you, you, you heard like Shannon might have came in as a free lead the same way, but we, we both have different stories. We both have different journeys. Um, so don't think you have to have my journey or you have to have Shannon's journey or Diana's journey. We're all on our separate journeys. We just have to be willing to, to start and share with people. Sometimes people let fear hold them back. And if you let it hold, if you let it hold you back for too long, then you're not, you're never going to get started. You're never going to um, take that first step. Shannon, and you're driving. Yes, ma'am. I'm driving. You're crazy. I thought you were. <laughs> no, I'm driving on Highway 77 <laughs> from West Virginia to North Carolina. Oh my gosh, that's and my totally my child dedicated. is in the back, and so and my friend is in the passenger seat. So now they all know my story as well. There you go. That's <laughs> awesome. love it. And I, I would say, like, Shannon, like, be dedicated and committed, no matter what. So exactly, like, no, no excuses, what, right? <laughs> yeah, no matter what, like, we all got stuff going on in our lives, right? Like, I didn't start this business, you know, having, you know, just being at home, right? Like, I had a full-time job. Shannon has a full-time job. Most of us have full-time jo full jobs. And if we don't, then we're at home with our kids, and that's a whole other job in and of itself. Um, so whatever you struggle with, use your struggles to push you forward, right? Those are the reasons why you should do this and not the reasons why you shouldn't do this. So if you're like, I don't have time, let this give you the freedom of time. Work hard for two, three years so that you can have the freedom to do whatever you want. Um, and I'm not saying like, I don't work now. I still work my butt off. But when I wanna go on vacation, I go on vacation. When I wanna go see my family, I go see my family. I don't have to ask off. I don't have to see if I have enough sick days. I don't have to, you know, find a replacement for me for a tournament. I, I have that freedom, right? Um, Diana, I know you're not technically, well, you are a leader, but you weren't supposed to speak, but I'm gonna throw you under the bus anyways. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? My a quick um, how what how I got to coaching? Why? Yeah, you can do your 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 quick like you know minute. Yeah, uh, so I was minute, so I'm Diana. I was doing beach body programs uh, before I became a coach, and um, gosh, oh my gosh, I have to learn how to like combine to crunch this to be really small, but um. After my first child, I struggled with addiction, and then once I got clean, I put on all this weight, and then I joined a boot camp, and I fell in love with fitness, and then um, I got married and had a second child and realized I couldn't be going to the gym anymore, so I saw Insanity, the same program, on the infomercial, and I was like, I'm doing that to get results at home, bought it not through Beachbody. So I knew nothing about Shakeology or even coaching, challenge groups, none of that. I just like bit the bullet and did these programs at home. I started with Insanity. I did um, T25, Insanity Max 30. Finally, I think it was when I was done Insanity Max 30 and already had my third child, came home from full-time work while my husband picked up two jobs. So now we're struggling financially to add on to everything. Here's my third one right here. And um, and my coach, Danielle, who's not here on the call, but she's on our team as well, <clears throat> had messaged me because I was sharing my journey. Not coaching, but I was just doing it on my own because it was keeping me accountable to somebody. So when I was putting it out there onto Facebook world, like, oh, you know, day seven of, yes, of T25 or whatever it was, I did T25 through my whole pregnancy with my third. I shared that journey. Um, and I was sharing my results. And she messaged me and said, you know, you could be getting paid for what you're doing. And I'm like, okay, so, you know, tell me more. So I jumped all the way into this coaching thing because I had a passion already for I, – I was running a boot camp. I still do in the spring and the fall for free at my, I, um, at my church. So I was already um, in love with serving others with health and fitness anyway. Um, and we were in a really bad financial spot. So it was just like the perfect opportunity for me and my family. 
Uh, this was last March, um, and we were on food stamps. We were on all, every single uh, welfare you can think of for assistance. Um, and um, coaching has gotten us off of food stamps um, and has gotten us off of um, most of the assistance that we were on. Um, it's, it, it is work. It is work for however much you want to put into this is what you will get out of it. Um, but it's worth it. It's, it's fun. I have a lot of fun running, you know, running, doing challenge groups and sharing with others um, the support that I wish I had before um, when I didn't know about it. So that's kind of I don't know, why I do coaching. And um, I'm going to stop because he's being loud. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Rose, you're muted. <laughs> Got it. Thanks, Diana, for helping me. <laughs> I was saying, Diana made a really good point with what you put into this, you'll get out of it. So a lot of people will ask me, well, how much am I going to make? Your income is a direct reflection on how many people you help. So the more people you help, the more your income is going to be. And I would say, don't focus on the income. Focus on the people and the income will just take care of itself. Um, and another kind of one-liner I'll throw out there is be here a year from today. This business takes time. My first year, I think I might have made like four, $5,000. You know, nothing to jump over the moon about, um, but it definitely helped, right? But if I quit that first year, I wouldn't have gotten to where I am today. So just know that this it's all about consistency and the compounding effect of time. And that's why one of the personal development books we have you guys read is called The Compound Effect because people quit too soon. They give up after a month. No one said yes to me after a month. I quit. Well, you know what? No one's going to say yes to you now if you quit, right? The, the only way you're failing, truly failing in this business is if you just quit, right? Even if you get 10 million no's and you still show up, and by showing up I mean sharing, posting, if you sh still show up, people are going to see that you're for real about this, that you're in it for the long haul. You're not just in it to earn a quick buck. You're not just in it for two or three months. But when you need them or when they need you, that you're still going to be sticking around. So give yourself a little promise for tonight and tell yourself, I will be here in a year. And if you are consistent and you're showing up for a year, I can promise you that you'll definitely be further along than you are today, 100%. Um, I know it's a little bit late. I'm going to open up the call now. Um, any questions about any of the assignments or any of the posts or just anything in general that you've kind of seen in the Beachbody world that you need um, some help with? That's what we're here for. That's what the call's for. So. Erica, Amanda, Jenna, Mallory. There's that little microphone in the corner. Just unmute yourselves. Say hi. Hi, I'm Jenna. Hey, Jenna. <laughs> I don't really have any questions um, because I blow up Diana's instant messenger all day long. Love it. <laughs> yes. And I actually was, sorry, I kept like blacking out, but like my screen. <gasps> I was messaging people because my. Um, post today of me working out, I guess, um, got a girlfriend from high school to message me on her own, prompted her to, she's awesome. tired of the way that she feels and she wants to lose weight. And so it was cool because I grew up with her and we kind of, you know, just went our separate ways in life. But so it's kind of, it's not sealed yet, but I'm, I'm pretty sure she's, you know, when she reached her, she didn't seize it. And she sees me doing it, so I think it'll be good. But it was just so exciting because she messaged me on her own before I could even get to everybody that, you know, I posted at the event. Before I could even get to everybody, she messaged me, which was really exciting. That is, that's so much fun when your first person's like, me, me, me. <laughs> yeah. She's like, you're motivating me. Every day I get up and I hate myself. And then I see Aww. your posts and... It just makes me want to do something. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. That's awesome. <laughs> and I had to message really Diana and I was like, people. yeah, I messaged Diana and I was like, okay, what do I say? Because like, I'm not supposed to throw a beach body on her, but I want to. So <laughs> like, 
<laughs> but you yeah. did absolutely amazing. But bother the crap out of Diana. Like, yes. when I get a new coach and they're not bothering me, I know something's wrong. Because you're not supposed to know what to do. You're supposed to have that freak out moment. Like, what do I say to them? Like, <laughs> I don't want to like, do I like just give them my link or like, what do I like? That was totally me. Yeah. <laughs> definitely reach out to Diana. And, she, and listen, I told Diana, I was like, I felt like the devil was like trying to stop me. I got home. I bought a keyboard for my iPad because I don't have a, a tablet yet or a um, computer. You know, yeah. Computer yet. One night, my iPad won't charge anymore. <laughs> so I've been doing all this over my phone. I was like, whatever works, I have to get it done. Hey, what you you got to do what you have to do and make maybe like a nice computer, your, your goal for this. Yeah, that, right? that's going to be the first thing I get. And it could be a tax write-off because it's for your yes. business. There you yes. go. Yeah, when I first started, my computer was awful and I was <laughs> – Borrowing internet from my neighbor because I couldn't afford my cable. So, yeah, yeah if you have to start out on your phone. Whatever. You got to, <laughs> yeah, you, you have to work regardless. Yes. Know. Thanks for, yeah. thanks for sharing, Jenna. Thanks. Great job. No problem. I'll mute myself now so somebody else can. Okay. Okay, I'll go next. Great, Natalie. Um, so I am actually working on signing up an active coach already. Um, but I was wondering, you know, how much like you get people to sign up and you get points for that. And I was wondering, you know, how much it usually takes just to get your products paid for. Because right now I'm a broke college student who can't get a job. So I have like 50 solid dollars in my checking account. So I was wondering, you know, when this month gets over, I obviously want to order more Shakeology, but um, I actually want to be able to get that paid for already. So I was wondering, you know, how much usually is put into it to get your products paid for and that kind of stuff. Great question. Really good question. So if you get three customers on Shakeology, that will get your product paid for. So that will give you enough commission like you'll still actually have to pay, but you'll get enough commission coming in that it will cover your Shakeology. If it's an active coach, you'll get their instant, you'll get the commission first. So like if it's a, I'll, I'll go with like the all access pass, you'll get $70 from that. But then after that, as a, as her signing up as a coach, you'll get team volume points from her. So I'm not going to get too far or too deep with that. We'll, we'll cover that in a little bit. Um, I don't want to give everyone too much like information to blow your, your heads off. Um, but the team volume points, as a team, you accrue um, points. As an Emerald coach, so you need to – so if you get one more coach besides her, you'll be an Emerald coach. And then you can start earning what's called team bonus cycles. Those team bonus cycles turn into – money or income. So as an Emerald coach, each team bonus cycle is $14. As a Ruby coach, it's 16. As a Diamond coach, it's 18. So just know as you rank up that you'll earn more money with your team bonus cycles. So for you, I would say you want to just sign up people as, um, as customers first because you'll always get their commission right off the bat. Whereas but, like, if you have someone that's at, that actively wants to coach, obviously sign them up as a coach. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, like, if someone's, like, um, a customer and they just want the discount, I, I would just sign them up as a customer first, and then you can kind of transition them into a discount coach later on. Um, but you'll see in, in the long run, having more coaches gives you more residual income because those points – accrue even if you're not actively doing it, doing anything if that makes sense so like when I was like I think maybe like a year or like two years into coaching and I was on my honeymoon I made more money than I did away that week ever in my like coaching career obviously I surpassed that now but at that time because my coaches were still helping people and you know selling challenge packs and those team points was accruing and I was getting that residual income coming in. So 
long answer for your question, but if you just get three customers that will pay for your Shakeology. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And, and we'll go more over the, the team bonus cycles um, and how you can earn that because really like commission wise, I don't make much commission. Um, maybe like every week I'll make not even a hundred dollars, maybe 50, but I'll earn between like $1,500 and $2,000 a week with just the team, um, the team bonus cycles. So it's pretty cool. Um, anyone else have any other questions? That was a really good one, Mallory. Amanda or Erica, any questions? Going once. I couldn't figure out how to unmute it. I'm like, how is uh, oh, microphone? Uh, <laughs> you got it. Um, okay, so I actually had a question about the group. The uh, Okay, one of the days we had to get the list of 25 people together, and I talked to you about it, Rose, about you said to invite them first to, like, an um, event in instead of, like, a group thing. So then that way they can choose whether they want to go or not, right? Is that what yeah, I don't know if you've ever, um, if like Lulu LaRue is big in your Yeah, I'm all over. <laughs> and they just add you into groups, and that yeah. annoys the bejesus out of me. Yeah. So that's why I said, like, no, like, don't do that. Because when you send, and I'll show that next week on how you can make an invent, invite. Because then you're giving people a choice, right? You're not just forcing people into a group. Because okay. I, I feel like that's a little bit... Um, too salesy? Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you send out an event invitation, and, and then if people say, yes, I want to go, maybe, then you can start a conversation with them before you just throw them in a group, right? Because we want to have um, a conversation with them first. We want to get to know them. We want to get to know their goals. We want to know what they're struggling with first so we can build that trust. If you just throw people in a group, there's not much trust there. Okay, so after after I do the invite and then say someone accept or or whatever, and I talk to them, then I'm gonna need help from Diana or something. <laughs> but I guess after that, then I they'd have to sign up for the either to be a coach, discount coach, or just the Shakeology and or then, a customer. Okay, and then they yeah. would be put into the group. Yeah. So after you kind of get the. Um their order through, then you can put them into a group. So for example, I'll, I'll kind of go through a really quick conversation. If I see someone that, you know, likes my event invite and they say yes, or even if they say maybe, I'll say, hey, Amanda, thanks so much, you know, for um, showing interest in my health bet group. You know, do you, you know, can you tell me why you're interested? Do you have any health and fitness goals? Right? So I'm not saying, um, you know, do you want to do court of force or, or, or something like that? Um, or a lot of people right off the bat, they'll say, how much does it cost? Right? Yeah, I got that. Yeah. <laughs> so write this down, pen and paper, or type it in your phone. Okay. I say, the price all depends on what you need. Can you tell me a little bit about what your health and fitness goals are so I can fit you with the right program? Okay. I can't prescribe something to somebody without me knowing what they need, without knowing kind of their symptoms, whether it is they don't have time to work out, um, it's hard for them to find a good healthy meal, they don't know how to meal plan, they don't know how to prep. I need to know those things before I can tell someone that Shakeology is going to help them, that, you know... T25 is going to be quick for them. I, I need to know those things ahead of time. So that's why you can say the price all depends upon the program that's right for you. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself so I can fit you with the right program? Okay. All right. That sounds good for now. If I have any questions, I'll contact Diana or you. <laughs> yeah. Or even um, like with my coach, when I first started, I would literally – give her, show her screenshots of my conversation, send it to her, and then she would kind of help me um, with what to say. 
And then there's also in the Coach Basics um, group, there's a file section. And right in there is a document called How to Have a Conversation. And it seems kind of odd to go in a certain order. And I hate to use the word script because it sounds so like, ugh, yucky. But you need to be kind of the one that's in control of the conversation by walking people through like, you know, your energy, their food, their workout. Like you need to have all those pieces in place before you can tell them what they need. Okay. And that yeah. document will really help you. Yeah. you. Print that out and just like have it, you know, on your desk or next to your computer when you're going through a conversation. Not that you have to say it word from word, but you can at least follow it a little bit and then make it your own. Okay. I'll look it up. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, thank uh, you, then. And I think Erica, did you have any questions or comments? I can unmute you if you can't find it. All right, you're good, Erica. Oh, I still can't hear you. Oh, crap. Oh, you're good now. Oh, okay. I'm um, losing my voice, so I can't really talk that much. <laughs> okay. Um, but no, I didn't really have any questions. I think actually everyone kind of covered Great. Um, everything that I was thinking about. So, Perfect. Well, thanks for coming on the call tonight. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, all right, everyone. So I promise next Monday I will show up on time at 8 o'clock. I'll, I'll definitely make a mental note of that as well. Um, but, you know, keep showing up in the group. Keep commenting and doing the action steps. That's really the thing that's going to kind of get you moving in the right direction. And, you know, always feel free to reach out to me or Shannon or Diana or your upline. Um, comment and post in the group. Um, and just to let you guys know, we also have a weekly team call, and that's Tuesdays at 8.30, and I'm never late for that one, I promise. Um, and, and that's something that's every week that we do. Um, rain or shine, we're always doing our team calls at 8.30 tomorrow night. It's the same link, but we always post it. Um, we'll post it in the team page again tomorrow. But, um, yeah, you guys are, you know, I'm kind of preaching to the choir. You're, you're showing up. You're showing up for this. So um, way to go, guys. Um, I think that's it for tonight. Have a great one, everyone. Thanks so much.